Mm. So I know it's pretty heavy. No offense to the people working. He makes fun of compound interest. He makes fun of Tony Robbins. It makes fun of a lot of things. Okay. But uh, but it's but it's a good book. It's a really good read. Listen to it on Audible, guys. Unscripted. MJ Demarco. So um, that being said, after getting that book in my system, that feeling hit me again. The one that told me to quit and go to Japan, mm. and he's like, "Stop fucking around. You need to do this YouTube shit for real." Mm-hmm. Because I I was considering deleting the YouTube channel when I was at the company. It was a nine month break mm-hmm. of me not putting videos up, but something wouldn't let me do it. So I quit. 2018, I quit. Um, Charlie was like, you're crazy. I was like, I know. I know. Quitting gonna, again. Burning the ships again. But I'm going to make it, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie saw me quit. Two months later, he came to my front door. He's like, I hate my job. I want to quit too. Mm-hmm. I was like, do it. And then so we had just gone through the 2017 bull run. Mm-hmm. So we saw Bitcoin go from 800 to 19,000. And let the people know, you bought your first Bitcoin back in 2016. Yes. 2016. And I know this because obviously we're friends, but I want to make sure. So you had already been in crypto at this point. Yeah, I had been in crypto since December 2016. Okay. And I bought my first Bitcoin. I bought half of it. It was like 880 for one Bitcoin. God damn. Right? That's a steal. <laughs> so. Um, let me look at Bitcoin right now. This yeah. It's probably 51K. Yeah. Um, so me and Charlie had gotten a taste of like where crypto was going to go. People had in the office had like rallied around to make fun of me and Charlie being like, look, look, look at the internet. 49K, money. almost 50. And so it's spiking. Yeah, 49K. Forth, yeah. um, they were like, you know, making fun of us. Like we're the internet money guys. Yep. Right. And so, but we like, we were smart enough and we went, we actually met Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum. Oh, we met him in, nice. um, in Tokyo. And we also oh. met Roger Veer. Okay. who is the founder of Bitcoin Cash. And I also met the uh, CEO of Binance, CZ, at the time. When I met him, he's like, I'm the CEO of Binance. I was like, no, you're not, Chinese guy. You're making a joke. And then- Do all these guys live in Japan? There was, uh, there was a meetup happening at the time. Okay. And there's a lot of crypto people in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially to notice that. pre-pandemic. You okay. Know? Now every, everybody's like kind of locked down where they're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a huge it's a huge crypto hub, and okay. Japan is very crypto. Miami friendly. is too. Yeah, yeah. Miami Actually, is as well. There's a bunch of Miami parties for crypto, and it's a growing community here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The it's, mayor is going to start like uh, using it for like retirement. So damn. Yeah. No, I, I'm like I said, for you guys watching at home, you're going to be using crypto one way or another. It's are you going to start using it now, or are you going to start using it when you're forced to use it? Facts. Yeah, and it's, it's not. And it's not like the mark of the beast, like some of these people say, like, you know, it's the Illuminati money and they're just a big blackout. If anything, it's a, it's a hedge against the Illuminati. Yes. If anything. Yes, it is. Decentralized. So started my, uh, started my YouTube journey in 2018. 2018 was really bad. Lost a business that I had running with my family. Injured myself in the gym. And, what, like, what business was that? Uh, I, had, I was running an Airbnb. Okay. okay. Yeah, and it was making me money. And like, you know. And you had that even when you were in Hawaii. No. You didn't have it in I started it when it came back 2016. Okay, okay. Basically, family saw it making money, got jealous, okay. pulled the rug out from under me, wow. and then ran it into the ground oh, because God. everybody just thinks they could do what we can do. Yeah. They just think they can do what we can do. And, and this yeah. is before Airbnb like is like what it is now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You had it in the early stages. Yeah. Okay. Made it super profitable. Um, You know, so... Lost everything, injured myself in the gym, couldn't work out, broke, and at the end of 2018, I, I'm very real with myself, and I, I always take a hard look at myself, and boom, 2019 comes into play, and I sat down, and I thought to myself, okay, here we are, Jonathan. So, you are, 2019, how old was I? 30... So I was 33 when 2019 began because my my birthday is December 2nd. Damn Shout you. out to all my Sagittarius's out there. You old nigga. <laughs> yeah. Fucking grandpa MLD <laughs> <That's> over <good>. here. <laughs> get me a fucking, get me a wheelchair. Um, 2019 rolls around. I'm 33. And I said, here's the deal, Jonathan. You're 33 years old. You're a fucking English teacher. And you are making fuck all money. You have no money saved up. You talked all this shit that you're supposed to be this YouTuber, that you're gonna do this and you're not doing it, mm-hmm. and you are. And and I don't encourage guys talking to themselves like this, which I'll I'll go into a little bit later here. But I had I said I said to myself, you are a 33 year old loser. Mm-hmm. 
And if you don't change something right now, this is who you are. And I, I don't look to blame anybody. I'll say, oh, well, because I'm, I'm not fully white or I didn't have a dad or, you know, because all the, my parents pulled the fucking rug out of me from the business. I didn't look for a bunch of excuses, you know. I just had a come to Jesus moment myself. And I said, like, dude, your life sucks and it's 100% your fault. 